everyone welcome you to my video in today's video we are going to discuss about the need of our character before the path while reading a csv file in pandas so as you would be knowing whenever you try to read a file using absolute path or in pandas we include this r as the prefix right so any string literals which are prefixed with r are called as raw string Okay, so why do we need to include this R? So it's necessary because we use many slashes in this path, right? So whenever we include any path, we can see that there are many backslashes, right? And in Python, actually we have backslash escape characters, right? So we have different, different escape characters. Like let's say we have slash B, we have slash N, we have slash T. So, so many escape characters we have, okay? So here, this slash b is actually treated as backspace character. And uh, if you see slash n is actually considered as a, a tab, a new line a character. And this slash t is treated as tab character. So like this, you have so many backslash escape characters in Python. And if you see, when we have a path, we, of, we uh, have many backslashes, right? So these backslashes should not be considered as the escape characters. Hence, we give this R, we include this R character before the string, such that this R refers to raw, and whatever string we have after this R will be considered as the raw string. So when you have backslashes in this string, which has a prefix as R, then all these backslashes will be considered as actual blacks backslash and not as the escape character. Okay. So let me show you an example here. So here, let's just take a simple print statement. And let me have a print statement here, which has the slash n. So now if I try to print the statement, as you can see, there is a, a backslash escape character slash n, which actually refers to a new line, right? So if I try to print this, this is what I get in the output. So you can see this every one comes under, comes after the slash n, hence it goes to the next line, that is a new line, right? But let me include this R character, let me prefix this R with the string. So let's say, let's uh, prefix R here. So you can see that when I include this R uh, as a prefix to any string, then this becomes a raw string. And if you see, the actual string is being taken and displayed in the output. All right, so this backslash, uh, backslash is actually considered as the backslash and not as the escape character, All right? So this is the purpose of including this R when we give the absolute path for reading a file in Pandas. So if I try to read any file, so here I'm going to take one CSV file to show you. <clears throat> so I'm, I have imported Pandas. And from pandas, I'm calling this read underscore CSV function. And while giving the absolute path to fetch this file, I have included this R so that whatever backslashes we have here, all that will be considered as just a backslash and not as the escape character. So I have loaded the data set here. And let me call this TF. Here we go. We have the data set. So now, I think you understood the purpose of using this R before the absolute path. Thank you all.